Nari Shakti Vandan Adhiniyam. What is this Hindi sizing, sir? Why not in English? When you speak as Nari Shakti, why didn't our Honorable uh, uh, Madam President be not invited for the inauguration of the Parliament, sir? Honorable Speaker, sir, I thank you profusely for having given me this opportunity to speak on this uh, historic Women Reservation Bill 2023. Sir, as our party DMK and our uh, dynamic leader, our Chief Minister MK Stalin, Talapati, have been touch bearers of women empowerment, I rise here to support the bill. While I appreciate the initiative, I do have my own fears, anxieties and doubts. Sir, I opened up to read the bill with huge expectations that it will lead women to enter into untrodden paths. So far, they have not experienced and into uncharted territories. But again, I ended up with huge disappointment. It is like a post-dated check in a bankrupt bank. And it's like a betrothal with so many ifs and buts, and we are not sure when it is going to culminate in an utopian marriage, sir. Sir, this bill, Women's Reservation Bill, is a matter of right, not favor. And with all humility and dignity, I would like to profess to the House through you, sir, reservation is our birthright, sir. While we, the DMK party, welcome the bill and support the bill, I would like to also remind you that, sir, in only not in this millennial era, women are empowered. Back in Sangam era, 3,500 years ago, in our Tamil soil, we have seen empowered women. Our celebrated poetess Avayar, for example, wrote Mudurai, a manual for wise living for all of them. And our rich Tamil epics, Mani Meghalai and Silapadigaram, have spoken about the rights and the power of women invariably throughout all walks of life. Sir, Tamil Nadu is a role model state and this bill has been perpetuated and had been put forth by so many male political parties but the seed is sown in the soil of Tamil Nadu by the Dravidian movement and it has been nurtured, the manoeuvre had been nurtured by the Dravidian trio, Tandai Periyar, uh, our leader, great leader, Peraringar Anna and Muthamil Aringar Kalingar and our chief minister. Sir, with our flagship programs, the Dividian model, all the schemes and reservations were entirely given to the women folk. For example, equal rights for women, family in family properties, 1989. 50% reservation in local body uh, representations. The present government has implemented 40% reservation for women in government jobs. Fair free travel for women in government uh, run city buses and the icing on the cake is the recent Kalinger Magalir Urimai Togai providing rupees thousand rupees for one crore six lakh fifty thousand eligible women sir first time in the history of India first time in the history of the world and to quote our uh, chief minister he has stated that an empowered woman plays a stellar role in nation's growth and people's wealth and in this Tamil Nadu stands see I mean second to none and while so many of the Treasury bench have been profusely uh, here admiring women, it was our Bharadiyar who said, Achamum madamum naihat kuvendamam namak kuvendam, meaning that don't attribute timidity and foolishness to women. We want equal rights and we want the right to keep our heads high and walk in this, wherever it is in this earth, as the human beings with wonderful uh, cherished rights to live in this world. Sir, the history of the bill has been traced here by all the other members who have spoken elaborately on it. After a tumultuous journey, it's been tabled here now today. I thought finally we see the light of the day, but not even the end of the tunnel I'm able to see it, sir, because of the loopholes of the bill. It's being introduced in Hindi, sir, here, while introducing it here, our Honorable Prime Minister and the Union Law Minister call it as Nari Shakti Vandan Adhiniyam. What is this Hindi sizing, sir? Why not in English? When you speak as Nari Shakti, why didn't our Honorable uh, uh, Madam President be not invited for the inauguration of the Parliament, sir?
and then again, sir, another thing, no special quota for the physically challenged women for the inclusion of the bill. That's another grave loophole in that. Inclusivity of cure community is totally a grey area in it. And also, why is there no reservation in Rajya Sabha or State Legislative Council? And again, Section 5 of the bill states that the provisions will come into effect after the delimitation exercise. Sir, this is an utopian promise. Delimitation is scheduled for 2026 and the census which was for 2021 never took place because it is no, now so clear that this is the electoral agenda for the ruling government. Just a carrot before the rabbit to lure women voters. But I believe the women of India will be very intelligent to decipher what is right and wrong and they will definitely vote for the India Alliance. Sir, to conclude, I would like to quote Dr. Ambedkar. One moment, sir. On 4th November 1948, Dr. Ambedkar, having introduced a draft report in the Constituent Assembly with modification, uh, stated that this constitution, it is workable, it is flexible, and it is strong enough to hold the country together both in peace time and in war time. Indeed, if I may say so, if things go wrong under the new constitution, the reason will not be that we had a bad constitution. What will we, we will have to say is that man was wild. So I would, unquote, so I would through you, sir, humbly request the lawmakers that whenever they amend our constitution, they should remember this statement of our dear Dr. Ambedkar, that it should reap the fruits quickly so as to be enjoyed in time. Sir, this bill should be implemented as quickly as possible before this commencement of this 24 elections. If implemented soon, it may be a small step for a woman, but a giant leap for womankind. Thank you very much, sir. Very good. Thank you very much. In this video, please like and share. Subscribe to our channel.